Hello, sixth grade. Welcome to sixth grade computers. I am Mrs. McCoy, and right now I am going to take you through our um, Canvas homepage. When you open up our class, you will see that our homepage um, consists of basically a Bitmoji classroom. Pretty much anything you need is going to be here on the Bitmoji classroom. Starting with a welcome to computer class. When you click on this, it is going to take you to the slideshow that I go over with my sixth grade classes at the beginning of every semester. Next, you will see a link that will take you to a slideshow that says, what are your hobbies? This is um, not mandatory. It is something you can do if you choose to do. I have done the first slide myself, and then you can add a slide to it if you wish. The next one says subscribe to my channel, and it's going to take you to a video that will show you how to subscribe to my um, YouTube video for school. This is going to be very helpful for you because sometimes it will not let you see my videos if you have not subscribed to my channel. The next thing, Bitmoji Classroom. Right now, there's nothing really there. When I finish making this video, it will be put here and you will be able to click on this and go back to this video and watch it if you ever need to. The next one says, I'm finished, what now? It's going to take you to this page on Canvas, which gives you a whole bunch of different options of things to do if you have finished all of the work or ex and or expectations in class for that day. Please only use this list if you have completed all assignments that um, are or have been assigned up to that point. Okay, moving on. Our next one is digital security. And it's basically just going to take you to a YouTube video that gives you an overview of digital security. It's just some extra information to help you out. The next one, Keyboarding Basics, is another video to help you with Keyboarding Basics for when we get to that module. Then we have a block coding link that will take you to basics about block coding because that will also be something we're learning in here. Our fake news info, again, is just extra info to help you out. So these two buttons and these two buttons are just extra information that's going to help you out as we're learning. Down the, here, the three buttons across the bottom here are going to be the buttons to get you to our most recent modules. We will be starting out with fake news module, moving on to digital security module, and then to keyboarding module. After keyboarding, we will be moving on to our last module, which is block coding. At that point, I will probably drop this and move these over to put block coding here. So that is our whiteboard buttons. If you come over here to our scroll buttons, you have a W, which is going to take you to the Black Hawk homepage, if you ever need to do that from here. The calendar here it will take you to a thought of the day, which I uncover every day. These are just inspirational things to help keep you positive and help keep your mindset on your goals and learning. There is nothing that you have to do with it to turn it in or to help to uh, be part of your grade. They're just there for you to look at each day and move on. Underneath that, um, 
you have a button that says bell work prompts. When you click on it, it's going to take you to the slideshow with that week's bell work prompts on it. Now the way our bell work works is I will have a slideshow every week for your bell work. I will not uncover it, take off this until it's time for you to do that bell work for that day. This slideshow only gives you the prompts or the questions for that day's bell work. If you look underneath that button, you will see bell work answer sheet, and that will take you to the assignment in which your bell work answer sheet is located. You will get a new one of these every week. You are to use this answer sheet all week and to turn it in on Friday. Now with bell work, you have a question every day, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you will notice that there is another one. There will always be a bonus question or bonus task that is worth up to five extra points. You do not have to do this. This is not mandatory. If you choose not to do it, it will not hurt your grade. If you do choose to do it and you do it correctly and um, answer in a complete sentence, uh, <clears throat> you can get up to five extra bonus points added to your bell work score. Okay, going back over here. The last button on this scroll here is called Class Agenda. And if you open that up, it's actually going to show you the agendas for all my classes. Um, but yours will always be one, two, three, four, five, the fifth slide in the slideshow. So if I'm not here, or if you don't want to try to look up on the board, or if you're at home trying to complete something at home because you've missed that day, you can always access the agenda to see what we're doing that day. Over here, this bell, it says past bell work. If you click on that, it's going to take you to a page on Canvas where the bell work is going to be um, move to after that week. So after this week, I'm going to move the, that bell work, the prompts and the answer sheet here. So if you miss Friday and you didn't get to finish it and turn it in, you can have a place to go and get it and you can still finish it to turn it in. I do expect you to do your bell work, even if you're not at school. As a matter of fact, when we have those snow days where um, we still have to have it like alternative instruction, the only task you have to do to be counted present for those snow days is to do your bell work. If you do not have computer access at home, you can do it when you come back as long as you get it done the day you come back to school. Okay, so next. House Minta. I am in House Minta. I know not everybody is. So if you click here, it will actually take you to all of the house stories in case you ever want to actually look it up and, and remind yourself of what your house story is or your friend's house story is. It is linked right here on our Canvas page. This right here will take you to a history of the Pledge of Allegiance, just some fun fact information. This right here, a fun fact about Mrs. McCoy is I am very, very um, into, I love Scottish Terriers. As a matter of fact, my own pet, pets are Scottish Terriers. And if you click on it, it will take you to one of my favorite Scottish Terrier videos called the Scotty Pinwheel. So if you ever want to watch that, you can click on this little guy here on the lamp. Okay, <coughs> that does it for the Bitmoji Classroom. One other thing I want you to be, or a couple other things I want you to be aware of. First, this button right here 
will take you to the module page where all the modules are. This is the best place for you to go to find the assignments you need to work on. It is organized much better than the assignment page. Second, up here where it says grades, this is a very good place for you to check and see what you are missing for this class. If you have a zero or if you have a dash next to your assignment, you need to complete that assignment. Also, if you have a grade that you don't like, that you would like to have a better grade, I always allow my students to turn things in twice. So if you get a grade that you are not happy with, you can try again. Now, you, if your original grade is still higher than the second grade, you will keep the higher grade. However, if your second grade is higher, then I will change, change it in the grade book so you have the higher grade. So always look and see what you need to finish here where it says grades. A lot of times, sis or the student portal will not tell you something's missing if I have given you a zero because you didn't turn it in. So always make sure you check your grades on Canvas also and just to see what you need to turn in. Now, obviously your report card grade is going to come from the student portal. So always remember that also. Um, if there's ever any announcements, of course, it'll be up here in the announcements. I think you guys know by now how to send messages, so I'm not going to go over that. Um, <clears throat> that's pretty much all I need to show you here on Canvas. So um, we will move on and um, go to our slideshow.